Hi, I'm George, and we'll be taking this kind of a boring sky back here and replacing that with a much better looking sky right there. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you also click on share and subscribe. Hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos and check out my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. You'll also find a link to another great Replace Sky video, and that's the second line in the description. Now our basic approach here is to make a layer mask to hide the sky and just show the horse. Now the horse is kind of hard to select, so selecting the sky will be a lot easier. And for that, I'll go over here and use this tool. This is the quick selection tool. You'll see it right down here, upper left hand corner. And it's a pretty small brush size right now. It's a fairly big horse picture. I'll just bring the brush size up a bit. That's better. And click on new to start and begin painting in here. And then Photoshop Elements goes in and finds everything that matches that. And that pretty much got that whole section. Let's now come down in here, get this area. That's good. And a little bit right into there. That's fine. And then over here and there. And that gets that whole part of the sky. Okay, that's now all selected. Let's now invert that selection. Right now the sky is selected. I want the horse selected. So select, inverse, and now just the horse is selected. Now the edge is a bit rough. You can see here how the mane is kind of sticking out past our selection, the hair is out past our selection a little bit. We can clean that up by using Refine Edge. Now the brush size is real small here. I'm gonna bring the size up, maybe to about 50. You can just type it in if you want to. There we go, there's a 50 brush, that's kind of nice. Let's set the Smart Radius on. Leave everything else as is. We'll start off down here and just paint right along the edge of that mane. And do this in several short strokes. It tends to work better that way. Little strokes like that. And get up in this area here. And then the hair is right down along here. That looks pretty good. And for a spot like this where some of the old background is showing through, just kind of paint into it from the outside and that should catch that. And up in here as well. That's good. And right there. Okay, I think we're pretty good now. I'll just double check that. I think that looks okay and a little bit right down in the trees here just along that edge now we're going from a blue sky to a blue sky so if a little bit of blue is showing through someplace you're never going to be seeing it okay there is our basic mask all done now come over here in refine edge and come down to selection and choose new layer with layer mask and then choose okay there we go there's a new layer and there's the layer mask and it hides the background layer now we can bring over our other picture now I have this as a floating window, just pull it down like that. If you don't have floating windows activated, just go up to the edit menu, come down to preferences and general, and it's this checkbox right there. That's when you want to have check right there. And choose OK. You can then float your windows. The nice thing about this is you can just grab that background, drag it over here, and place it into this picture. Okay, I'll get that out of the way. Now it's a little bit too small and it's in the wrong spot. It's on the wrong layer, but we'll change that in just a second. Let's first get this to the right size. I'll pull it up here and then I'll grab the bottom corner and pull it down so it fits. Obviously the closer the size match is to your pictures the better the final outcome will be but that small change will be just fine. Let's now take this layer and drag it underneath the horse layer and there we go. There is our horse with that brand new background. We can see how this compares. I'll just show the background down here. Let's show and hide that cloud. There's before and there's after. And I think you'll agree that's a dramatically better picture with that very quick and very easy sky change in there. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Click on share. Click on subscribe. Hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos. Check out my channel for a bunch more videos here on Photoshop Elements. And, of course, take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. All right, and I'll see you next time.